A Christian asked me this question. Your Quran mentions that the Bible is the word of God. Why then do the Muslims not follow the Bible? As far as you have asked this question, there is no verse in the glorious Quran which says that the Bible is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the Bible is the word of Almighty God. What we Muslims believe and what is mentioned in the glorious Quran is that the Injil, the revelation that was revealed to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is the word of Almighty God. And today the Bible that the Christians have or that is present with the Christians, it is the corrupted form of the Injil. There are things that have been added, there are things that have been deleted from the Bible. There are certain words of Almighty God, no doubt about it. But at the same time, there are words of human beings, there are words of historian, and I'm sorry to say, there is even vulgarity that is present in the Bible. So the complete Bible, in no way it is the Injil, but rather the Bible, it is the corrupted form of the Injil. There are additions, there are deletions in the Bible. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 79, فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ يَكْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابَ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ ثُمَّ يَقُولُونَ هَذَا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا فَوَيْلٌ لَهُمْ مِمَّا كَتَبَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَوَيْلٌ لَهُمْ مِمَّا يَكْسِبُونَ Then woe to those who write the book with their own hands. Then they say this is from Allah to traffic with it a miserable price. So woe to those for what their hands write and woe to those for what they earn. By name four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Al- Surah Al-Ra'ad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, لِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ كتاب. For each period we have sent a book. By name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Qur'an. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil, and the glorious Qur'an. The Torah was the Wahid, the revelation that was given to Moses, peace be upon him. The Zabur was the Wahid, the revelation that was given to David, peace be upon him. The Injil was the Wahid, the revelation that was given to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And the Quran is the last and final revelation that was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So by name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. But there were several other revelations. For example, Suhf Ibrahim, the scrolls of Prophet Ibrahim. But all the revelations before the last and final revelation, the glorious Quran, they were only meant for their people and for that time. The glorious Quran is the last and final revelation and it is not meant only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but it is meant for the whole of humanity. And even if I agree with you for sake of argument that we should follow the Bible, for sake of argument if I agree with you, that we should follow the Bible today, yet it, if we have to follow the Bible and if you're saying that it is the Injil, so it was only meant for those people and for that time. Whereas today we Muslims, we have to follow the last and final revelation that is the glorious Quran. The Injil, it was revealed for those people and for that time, it was meant for a particular group of people and it was time bound. But today we Muslims, we have to follow the last and final revelation that is the glorious Quran. So nowhere does the glorious Quran say that the Bible is the word of Almighty God. The Bible that is present today, it is the corrupted form of the Injil. There are additions, there are deletions in the Bible. And from Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19. In Dina in the Law Islam, the only religion, the only way of life acceptable in the sight of Allah, it is Islam. It is to submit your will to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.